I'm at Costco. If, um, okay. I've been trying to convince my husband to get a Costco membership forever. And he's always like, we don't need that. That is $60 a year. No. But we buy things in bulk all the time. And I'm like going to Walmart buying toilet paper and paper towels and all, all of the things. And I have been dreaming of a Costco membership. And now I'm in the Costco parking lot by myself. About to go get my card and go shop at Costco. And I am going to try and vlog and take you guys with me. Because apparently people really like vlogs. That is a, that's a true statement. I like vlogs as well. So I thought it would be, oh my goodness, look at that bag in my back. I gotta get that out. Um, I want to make content that appeals to all of the peoples. So this is gonna be a vlog, a vlog vlogging and I'm gonna do my best to go shop at Costco right now so let's go um I just got back in the car after going to Costco and I love it I've been in before I'm out of breath I picked up a 50 pound bag of rice because Corey eats so much rice and it's really hot in Texas today. Actually, that's a lie. It's only like 80 degrees. I'm just out of shape and a little sweaty. Anyway, I just got back from going inside Costco and I love it so much. I love that we can get like a better deal on the things that we were already buying in bulk anyway. So yes, I am going to drive to Aldi because do not hate on the smaller grocery stores love me some Aldi and I love Aldi prices so I'm gonna go get a couple more things that I need like smaller stuff then I will head home I'll unpack my groceries and we'll chit chat I think that I want to talk about the shoes that I wear at work because they're fantastic and I when I started working my back was like destroyed anyway we'll talk about it later but okay Okay, I am in the Aldi parking lot currently, and I'm gonna take you guys shopping with me. Ooh, my hair. Um, I usually come here for like smaller things. I just really hate going into Walmart. It's always so packed. So I go there for the things that Corey needs, and that's it, because he doesn't like to grocery shop. But I really pick up like the stuff that I have to get at Walmart for him, and that's it. I'm trying to branch out in my, uh, in the places that I shop. Hence why I got a Costco membership, which I'm still so excited about. So excited. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so we are gonna go shopping in Aldi right now. And, oh my goodness. While I was in Costco, this old man serving food was like, what is that on your arm? If you guys don't know, I have tattoos. And he was like, what is that on your arm? Is that a scorpion? I was like, no, sir, it is a skeleton. And he was like, where? And I was like, mm, pelvis, spine, ribs. And he was like, ah, oh, why did you do that to yourself? And I was like, oh, well, okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my husband and I lived overseas for a while. And everywhere that we traveled, I would go get a new tattoo or I mean, not everywhere, but most places we traveled, I would go get a new tattoo. And I did that so that I had like a piece of that place with me and then I got to kind of bring it back. And I allowed the artists to have some creative freedom in what they were doing. So like I got this in Greece and it was so cool and he did what he wanted and it was fun and like it was a great experience and I think... Um, not to get into like a long conversation about life or anything right now, but I think the life that we live is about the experiences that we have and what we make of those things. And I think that it's super beautiful to be in these places and like, I will never forget the guy who did this tattoo. We're sitting there, my husband's there, he's tattooing me. We're talking, we're in Greece. We're talking about 
all things Greece and how he grew up and what life is like for him and his family, how they would travel to the island we were on just to make money for the summer and go back home and like survive through the winter. I mean, it's, it's crazy and beautiful and amazing and tragic and all, all sorts of things. And I think being able to look at this and like remember that experience and I hope that I look back one day and see these experiences and I get to be like, wow, I'm old and wrinkly and my skin's fallen off my body and my tattoos look like shit, but the experience was amazing, you know, because we only like get to do this once. And if you don't do the things you want to do and do the things that you love, like I've wanted to make a YouTube account forever and I've wanted to make videos forever and I've been so scared of being judged or like people not liking them or whatever and all things in life if you don't just do the things that you want to do because you want to do them regardless of your fear of what other people may think you won't ever truly I I don't believe you'll ever truly be happy until you take a chance on the things that you like wonder about so if you're wondering about a boy or you're wondering about a new job or you're wondering about starting a YouTube channel I think whatever it may be that is piquing your interest you should do it and you should follow the dreams that you have and I apologize for maybe the corniness of what I just said however the point still stands so let's go shopping what is up guys I am back home from my beautiful, amazing Costco trip. And we're gonna talk about some shoes. So let's get into it. Shoes are so important. You will not survive a day or night, a shift without the right shoes. When I first started working, I was just wearing a pair of old Nikes that I had and I came home every day with the worst back pain. And I should not be experiencing terrible back pain right now. So I was like, what is going on? What do I need to do? And I realized that my shoes could be part of the problem. So I started looking at different shoes. I watched all different sorts of videos and I was like, this is what I'm gonna do. So without further ado, these are the shoes I bought. These bad boys right here. These are the Brooks Ghost 14s and they are amazing. The sole, as you can see, is super thick. I don't know if you can tell, they're a little dingy, but the sole is super thick and there is so much cushion, it's amazing. My foot always feels good. I do not come home with back pain, uh, my shoulders don't hurt, I don't get as many headaches, though I still get headaches for other reasons, like the cat meowing right now. These shoes are fantastic. I would absolutely recommend them to anybody searching for a new pair of shoes for work, whether you're a nurse or you're just on your... There's dirt on the bottom of these. I would absolutely recommend these to anybody that spends their work day on their feet. These shoes are fantastic and they come in a lot of different colors um, and options, like a lot of different styles. Like I said, these are the Ghost 14s, but they have a lot of other versions that are freaking amazing. This is completely my own opinion. This video is not sponsored by anything because I have about 12 subscribers and get like 50 views right now. So not sponsored, just my personal opinion that these shoes are fantastic. And I absolutely recommend them to anybody who's looking for a new pair of supportive shoes. I also have a few friends at work that wear Hoka's, Hoka's? Hoka's, um, which they love. I have never tried them. I went with the Brooks first and I love them. So I don't think I'll be trying another one right now or like investing in another pair. Those shoes were around $130, which is expensive. That's not a cheap pair of shoes, especially when I'm wearing them to work. I knew, I knew that they were going to get pretty dirty pretty fast, but they were so worth it for keeping my feet and my hips and my back healthy. So I'm, I'm totally here for it. All right, my friends, thank you so much for coming back and watching another video. I am so excited to be doing this and to be making videos. I apologize for the constant change in scenery and lack of consistency and where I'm filming. 
I'm just trying to navigate what works best and where it works best in, in what I'm filming, so. I have no idea what just happened, but for some reason, the ending of that video fell off. I'm telling you, it is because I record with my phone and I need to like actually get a camera to record with. But anywho, let me complete what I was saying so that we can finish this video today and I produce something maybe people want to watch. Uh, how is this for vlogging? Look at this, what a vlog day. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If you feel drawn to it, give me a like, a subscribe, a follow, turn on your notification bell so you can see when I post, and I will see you in the next video.